good educated, I'm glad you made it. Allow me to unfold my knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from a hood nigga's point of view to all of you here, there, and everywhere. Now check me out. Now y'all know how I'm coming, man. I'm coming with this raw, uncut shit, and I'm coming with my portion of understanding. Now just listen close. We gotta pay attention and we gotta use our mind. Listen close. Because I've been protecting him for three years. I'm telling you. Like, I've been protecting oh. that man for three years. I'm protecting, I've been protecting him from what? Man. Protecting him from what? Bro, bro. Protecting the man from <laughs> coming out. Did y'all hear what he said? The man laid up here and said that he been protecting Nipsey Hussle. He been protecting the video from getting out for three years, right? This is what he's saying. Protecting it for three years. These ain't my words. This is what he's saying. He been protecting it for three years, right? So... Explain to me this right here, uh, y'all. Y'all got to break this shit down to me because maybe I'm fucked up. I don't know, right? When you protecting something, right? Or, 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 or you trying to hold a secret for a motherfucker, you don't divulge that information, right? You don't go around telling motherfuckers about shit that you trying to protect. Shit that you trying to keep secret. You understand what I'm saying? So how, WAC 100, explain to us how the hell is you protecting something or protecting Nipsey and his legacy and protecting the tape from coming out when you telling the motherfucker about it? I'm talking about you not just telling the motherfucker about it. You breaking this shit down in great details to a motherfucker that you don't even know. From a whole nother coast. This California shit. You breaking this shit down to a motherfucker from the East Coast. From New York. A blogger at that. A motherfucker that like talking shit. That need content to keep his energy going. You tell this man. Great details. About some shit that the world don't even know about. And you trying, you telling us now that you've been protecting it. How? When you let the cat out the bag, now the world know about it. So how you protecting it? If he was protecting it, y'all, listen to me. If he was protecting it, he wouldn't have never opened his motherfucking mouth. He wouldn't have never said shit. We wouldn't have never known about that damn video or the video footage or the supposed supposed video. We wouldn't know nothing about that. Y'all feel what I'm saying? Come on, so that's how I know this nigga lying about this damn tape, man. This nigga lying, man, because, uh, listen, draw off this right here. Now, I'm a vice lord, right? I'm talking about I'm unknown till I'm gone, man. It ain't just, it ain't no way around it. That's just how I come up, man. I've been a vice lord ever since I was 12 years old. Hey, look, I ain't game banging and doing all that old type of shit, but I am who I am, right? So now let me explain to some, some to y'all about this gang bang culture shit. And then for some of y'all that are game bangers that's on here, right? Or some of y'all who just got some type of loyalty to y'all friends and y'all brotherhood and shit like that, right? Or sisterhood. If a motherfucker come to you, right, with video footage of one of your good friends, right, and this good friend is a superstar now. This good friend can take y'all out of the ghetto with the shit that they doing and they talking about taking y'all out the ghetto and they proving that they looking out for the hood and they doing everything, right? They hitting y'all hands. They doing everything that's good for the hood. And here it is, you got a motherfucking opposition coming in y'all neighborhood saying, hey, look, I got a videotape, man, of your homeboy doing some, you know, some freaky dicky shit that he ain't got no business doing. And motherfuckers talking about exposing him, man, and ruining his career. Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Because, see, now you're not just ruining his career and his way out the ghetto. You ruining the whole neighborhood, right? You got the whole neighborhood looking bad now. So hold on, let me see the tape, bruh. Let me see the video. Oh, okay. Damn, that don't look right. Okay, yeah, you right, you got the tape. Let me tell you something. That nigga's not leaving with that tape. 
He's not leaving with that video footage. We taking that. Right then and there, we taking that. We taking that video right then and there. And not only that, who is the other nigga? Because we need him too. We gonna get him over there too. And we taking that too. Y'all coming up off that tape. So I refuse to believe. That he brought that tape, that video over there and showed them niggas like he said. I went over there to the powers that be and showed them this, that, and the other. And they, damn, all oh, shit, whoop de wop, bamboo. No, uh uh. I refuse to believe that, that them niggas from Rolling 60s Crips, man, allowed that. Even, even, listen, even if they wasn't fucking with Nipsey like that, right? Let's just say that, you know, his neighborhood, he was at odds with his neighborhood. They weren't seeing eye to eye. Even if that was the case, you still not leaving with that tape, bro, because now we want that so we can have that over that nigga head and be like, nigga, now you really got to take care of the hood. Now, nigga, we going to expose you. Come on, no, that's just too much leverage. So I refuse to believe that that man right there went over there to them niggas' neighborhood, speaking to some OGs, some real niggas, the powers that be, like he said, and they let him leave with that video footage. It's just unbelievable. I can't, I, I can't believe that. This nigga lying. I don't believe there's no tape. And not only that, hold on, I got one more for y'all. One more. Listen to this right here. It's niggas on this stage that that know that they seen that man come to my studio. But I gotta talk this man out of not taking a half a million and taking a million and taking this and taking that. But, you know, at the end of the day, I keep dude busy because he does do a certain type of thing. And I keep him with work and keep money in his pocket and shit. And that's our agreement. Long, He like, whack, I ain't going to go broke knowing I, I got something I can eat off of you. You right. So let me keep you moving, keep you busy, keep some money in your pocket. And there been times where, you know, it got a little slow and I just covered it. Why I'm doing it, I don't know. Now, did y'all hear that? Just did y'all hear that? That he got a... Talk a man out of accepting half a million, a million dollars for some video footage of a man that's no longer here, right? But here go the cold-blooded part about everything, y'all. This man that he's talking about sound like he broke. He ain't got no money because he's talking about, yeah, I, I got to hit his hand every now and then. I keep him busy. You know what I'm saying? I keep some money in his pocket, and then when things get low, I cover it, right? So y'all explain to me, what, what nigga in two, 2022 that's broke got a video that's worth a million dollars that's just going to keep... Hey, man, I can't do it, man, because, you know, whack, man, he going to give me a couple dollars here and there. Whack, man, you know, he going to make sure I'm okay, but I'm just going to hold the video, man. I'm just going to hold it, man. You know what I'm saying? They offered me a million for it over here, man, but I ain't going to take that right there, man, because I got whack going to give me a couple hundred, man. Whack got a job for me. It don't make no sense. Come on, y'all. We hood educated. We got to use our mind. This shit ain't making no motherfucking sense, man. Ain't no tape, man. And I hear y'all talking about why his baby mama ain't came out. She probably ain't studying that shit, man. She probably in her own world dealing with her own shit. She ain't got no time for this shit. She know it's fake. She probably don't want to get involved in all that old type of shit, man. You understand what I'm saying? So come on, man. Like, man, no, nah, this dude right here is lying, man. Because let me tell you something. He's so greedy. That he would have been got that money for that motherfucking tape. That nigga ain't. Come on, man. That nigga would have been put that tape out there. He wouldn't have never went and told them uh, them niggas from 60s nothing. That tape would have been out there. He would have got his 20%. The tape don't exist, y'all. I refuse to believe it. And the story keeps the story keeps switching. At one moment, when he telling Hassan, y'all remember he told Hassan, yeah, I got some gay shit on Nipsey, man. I got all type of shit. I can expose all these niggas. He called it gay shit. And then right after that, he go on Clubhouse and say, well, it really wasn't gay like that, man. You know, he just probably did some freaky shit. Come on, man. Listen, man. Listen. The truth never change. Lies do. 
This hood educated, not lame related, man. Peace and love, man. And y'all take care of y'all self. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like, man. Hit them notifications. And share the hell out this video, man. Peace and love.